Welcome back to the ASUG News Studio. My name is Tom Whalegum, and delighted to have in the ASUG News Studio Eshperwan Krishnamurthy yes. from Coca-Cola Enterprises. Thanks for coming in. Thank you, Tom. You are doing a uh, very interesting presentation. There's not a ton of mobility presentations, but you are doing one on, on Coca-Cola Enterprises London 2000 Olympics iPad yes. entry order application. Correct. Can you talk a little bit about why you guys decided to do this appl application? What was the, the purpose behind the project? Yeah, to give you a background, uh, as you know, Coca-Cola Enterprises, we produce and distribute Coca-Cola products, mm -hmm. and we predominantly operate in two different uh, markets. One we call as direct uh, store delivery, and another is an indirect market. In a direct store delivery, we actually distribute the products to the store, so our drivers go and deliver the products. Our merchandisers uh, stock the shelves, and our sales order, our sales reps also take an order at the stores. And in case of uh, indirect market, the warehouse deliveries where we just send the products to customers' warehouses and they distribute it. Okay. So in the direct store market, there is always a need for a lot of mobility solutions because all of these people need to be mobile or mobile, and the solution need to operate in a mobile environment. And Olympics provided a perfect platform for that to s develop and deliver that solution in a mobile environment. So what, what we would uh, aspire to do is the solution that we are building would become a legacy for CCE, for Olympics, and we would also further uh, use this application and accelerate our DSD rollouts. Okay. What were the considerations going into building this? I mean, you've got high profile event, security, all those kinds of things. What were the you know, application considerations you had to yeah, so from the application perspective, the key drivers were the UI adoption and usability, and of course the security and other things. Right. And the other thing that we had to consider was uh, how can the application work without connecting to CC network. Mm -hmm. So this application is not connecting to any of CC VPN, so it's using regular internet protocol and uses it. So that was the main consideration okay. of the application. Um, who are the people actually who are using you know, who are these people at the Olympics going to so, be using? Did you need to train them? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So the, there were close to 500 or so sales reps inside the Olympic venues okay. who will be using these applications. Mm -hmm. They would be they will be taking orders at the stalls and then also working with the venue depots to deliver the products to the stalls. Okay. So if you've seen the previous Olympics in China, there was like a hybrid trucks going and delivering the product in right. the stalls. This is something similar to that. Right. How did you guys approach it in terms of um, you know, building out a scenario on the iPad that would be easy to use, that you know, people would understand pretty cleanly? I mean, did you go talk to the ultimate yes. users? How did you do that? Absolutely, so we started with uh, finding out what is the right device for this platform. So we looked at uh, UI adoption uh, and usability as the key, and then iPad was, of course, the choice of the uh, device for us. Mm -hmm. Uh, we looked at the other rugged devices and tablets, but of course iPad was the choice. And then we looked at, okay, how exactly we have to build the solution. So one of the things that we did this time differently is to start using more agile methodologies hmm. than using traditional SDLC processes. Okay. And that helped us uh, so that we, we are doing a agile methodology process. Actually, that, those would seem to go hand in hand with mobility efforts using the agile. Uh, absolutely, that's one of the key learning for us. So if you have to do mobility or anything around mobility, your traditional SDLC processes is not going to gel. You need to move towards more agile development. Was that a learning curve for, for your organization? Absolutely, for our organization of our size, and we are traditionally using big SAP customers, mm -hmm. most of our projects are using traditional SDLC releases. Yeah. And we have two releases in a year, so there was a lot of uh, pushback, hey, do we have to be part of the release or not part of the release? Right. And we said, okay, this is a mobile solution, we need to be agile, and yes, there's a lot of support from our leadership, and that's what made it happen. What were, were there other challenges that you had to overcome to, to make this work? Uh, there were two challenges, as I said before. One challenge is around uh, the agile development, moving mm -hmm. from the traditional SDLC process. The other challenge was, uh, if you're a big SAP customer, most of the messaging would be based on IDOC process. Okay. But when you're talking about mobility platform, the messages are around synchronous process. So you should be able to synchronously connect to your backend, give the information that mobile is asking for, with split of a second. Mm -hmm. So that was a uh, lot of uh, work that we did with working with multiple team. We created an API framework leveraging one of our investments in SAP. Mm -hmm. uh, that is a key learning for us too. Right. How was the, uh, it must have been kind of fun to, to actually be on the forefront designing an iPad app. I mean, getting out there and, and thinking, okay, this is going to be essentially running, you know, 
the beverages at the Olympics. I mean, that's a high profile Correct. event. So absolutely, so that is one of the key, one of the reasons we selected iPad 2. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely, it's been very greatly appreciated from our business community yep. uh, and also from the users for its ease of use and easy to navigate and other features that we have developed. Do you have a, you know, to make it a little more ruggedized? I mean, I'm sure it's just, just yes, not yes, holding so a regular iPad. Absolutely, is absolutely. So we had a special cover, mm -hmm. of course, Coca-Cola red cover, yeah. which we developed, uh, and that's what we'll be using. It's much. It's a ruggedized iPad. Mm -hmm. Sure. How's the feedback then from the people who actually have to use it? Have it's they, tremendous. It's it's. Uh, what have they said? I mean, what what? Absolutely the, tremendous. So, uh, to give you an idea, we started uh, also did it in Windows.NET tablet. Didn't uh, so compared to the feedback <laughs> that what we received on that and yeah. iPad is is absolutely tremendous, tremendous. So that made it crystal clear that okay, we have to go this other direction. Absolutely, and it's also a touch-based process. So we right. use the gesture-based uh, design, and our UI team worked also a lot to get the right amount of uh, clicks and teams. So it's a fantastic effort across. We, I talked to someone else who was, has been working on mobile apps and tying it back in SAP, and and she talked a lot about it has to be so simple. But if you know it's got effective, it's got, you know all the back end work tying into the SAP. But that that user interface has got to be so simple. Absolutely. Did that guide any of your things? And how did you guys you know make sure that you you did keep it simple? That you know. Yeah, it's it's that was one of the key things that we had did it. So, like I mentioned before, the adoption UI and uh, simplicity was not just the device drivers. It yeah. was also the building blocks of the application development. So right from the get go, we had to make sure the application is so simple that it's user it's easy for the users to use. It right. should be just like Yahoo, where we are going and logging on to email. We don't, right. we are not trained. Nobody's training us to do those things. Right. So our approach was something similar to that, and that really paid off. Right. Well, so you have a session coming up this week. When is that? Uh, we have a session on uh, Wednesday, Wednesday evening on the iPad solution, okay. which we developed. That and I, ex I welcome people to come and watch the sessions. Great. Uh, we'll, I, I'm sure that you will learn a lot. What would be your one or two pieces of advice to fellow ASUG members who are you know, in that stage where they're thinking, you know, they see something like yours and say, wow, we would really love to do something like that. What would be your one piece of advice to kind of get them started? Uh, for the ASEC members who are getting into the mobile uh, strategy or mobile creation, uh, we would strongly advise them to start thinking about creating an API framework or an API strategy uh, in the back-end SAP and leverage on the SAP investments. Companies of our size have invested a lot of money in SAP. So we have to leverage more and more of that investment, and that's what we did. Uh, and the payoff was, was, was tremendous. To give you an example, when we started rolling out our customer portals, where our customers are creating orders and service tickets in the web, mm -hmm. so we used the same APIs that we used and we developed for the customer portal for our full service vending machines, mm. and for our Olympic iPads, and also for our DSD driver handle, rugged handle processes. So the APIs are the same. It is how we use it, or what sort of data that we send out from SAP is pretty critical. So that's one key thing that I advise people is to start thinking about an API strategy with SAP. Uh, and are there going to be more? Did this did this prove the business case that we should do? You, your group should do more of these. You think absolutely? Be more? So as as I uh, was mentioning before, in an DSD market there were a lot of mobility requirements. The mm -hmm. mobility requirement doesn't stop with the sales process. Of course, we do, we do need to have a mobility requirement for our sales reps. Okay. But there is also merchandisers who, who merchandise the shelves at the store. They need a mobile application. Our DSD drivers, they need a mobile application to deliver the product to the stores. And we also need a mobile application for the full service vending application. Mm -hmm. So for full service vending application, we have successfully developed and delivered. So that is in the deployment roadmap but we are in the process of uh, using the Olympic uh, legacy and Olympic technology what we built on our DSD rollouts. And I'm sure that the, the investments that we have made for Olympics is definitely going to accelerate our DSD rollouts in future. Great, well yeah. thank you very much and looking forward to your presentation. Thank you very much, Thomas. Thanks for inviting me. Sure, great. Uh, next up on the ASUG News Studio, we'll be back in about 10, 15 minutes to so come back and check out the next interview.